Jiggy Jag back with you here on uh, Jiggy Jag TV, your favorite community producer. I'm uh, Jiggy Jag, we're out here at Sunset Billiards, and uh, I happen to bump into the legend, Mike Massey. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing just great. I'm doing great. Yeah, I've been uh, on this tour now for about a year, and been doing a lot of shows, a lot of teaching uh, all over the United States, and a great time. My wife, my three dogs, and me, we're just having a ball. <laughs> now, uh, you, you did some trick shots earlier that mm -hmm. were just fabulous. Knocked my socks off. And that's not easy to do if you've ever seen this show. <laughs> Tell me about this, uh, the parting of the Red Sea. Well, the parting of the Red Sea is uh, it's one of my favorite shots. You know, most of the shots I did there were set up shots, which were pretty easy. But the parting of the Red Sea is a, is a great shot because if you take the movie, The Ten Commandments, yeah. you know, and I, ask, I usually ask people what's the, what their favorite scene in the movie The Ten Commandments, and they always say "Part in the Red Sea." And I, I was just reading about that yesterday. Uh, you know, Moses and, uh, and the Israelites when, it, when the Red Sea was parted. And uh, I just thought, my wife, it's amazing. I won't get into that too much, but what, <laughs> what, what happened after that is really amazing. Yeah. Well, uh, t tell me about some of the some of the other trick shots you demonstrated for us. Uh, t t tell me about the boot. Well, the boot shot is my favorite trick shot, you know, yeah. and that's the shot I did. Uh, I think it was 19. I mean, no, I'm sorry, the year 2001 when I won the uh, competition uh, the first time I ever did the boot shot. Uh, it helped me win the twenty-five thousand dollars. I beat uh, Shimeli, and then in, I went beat Andy Siegel in the finals. Yeah. And uh, it's become, uh, you know, I, I, I do the shot everywhere I go, and it's yeah. one of the most requested shots. And uh, on Trick Shot Magic, we I had two attempts, one. and uh, it's a pretty, pretty low percentage shot. I did it on Regis and Kelly. And uh, overshot the boot and hit it. Oh on my the God! You hit the boot. No, I hit it on the knuckle. You know. <laughs> Ooh. And uh, you know, I haven't been back on his program since. <laughs> <laughs> Curious situation. But he's yeah. a good, good, good sport. I ran over and kissed it for him. You know, he was a good sport. But uh, that's, uh, of course, my favorite shot. Then the the butterfly shot, which has been around for over a hundred years, we make six balls in six pockets. Yeah. And I usually get someone out of the audience to shoot that shot because it's just a setup shot. The passing lane shot. I guess you wanted uh, the passing lane. Yeah. It's, it's a favorite of most people. Uh, uh, I call it scratching with style sometimes because <laughs> when you're playing eight ball, you don't want to scratch on the eight ball. That's right. But if you do, scratch with style. So I call that scratch with style because the cue ball outruns the eight ball. Now there's and, uh, another another uh, spot you did for us, which uh, was made famous by uh, a Steve, beer commercial. Steve Mizrak, and uh, he did a about thirty something years ago. He did a, a beer commercial on TV, and uh, everybody calls it the just showing off shot. <laughs> and he, you know, Steve was a tremendously great, great player. He passed away a couple of years ago, yeah. and he won uh, won a lot of tournaments. And uh, he did the commercial. And when I'm doing shows, I always ask all the gray-headed people. I always remember the commercial, you know. <laughs> and uh, he shoots, and uh, he makes the five balls, and he goes, the key ball goes around the table, and he picks the beer up. And he says, even when you're just showing off, you know, he makes that <laughs> ball in and sets the beer down. And uh, it's, a, it's a it's a great shot. But when he did the commercial, it was actually three shots in one. Yeah. You know, he did. But that was uh, that's a favorite of all people too. Now, uh, you're 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 literally world famous. You've been to Europe a few times. You've done all sorts. Years, I've been to Europe 50 times. Yeah. I've been to 40, 45 countries, I think, doing shows. Prince of Brunei, I went to those heritage one for him. I've done the. Uh, a few uh, heads of mafias in some country. I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> we won't uh, talk about K that. KGB. Uh, I mean, it's amazing some of the places uh, that I've been Does, in that show. Have, you noticed, Africa, have you, know. you noticed that billiards, does it translate well? Uh, it's, it's played in, I don't know, most of the countries in the world now. Yeah. The game's played, and there's different forms. You know, you got Russian billiards, oh, yeah. you got snooker, you got three cushion billiards, and but uh, the nine ball, the American pool is the most popular now, yeah. and there's over 40 million people in America that play pool. You know, and uh, there's like last article I read quite a few years ago, there was 12 million, some 13 million people that played on a regular basis. Yeah. You know, and that regular basis might be once a month or whatever. You know, 
but uh, it's very popular and the APA which is uh, American Poop Player Association yep. have been really great for the game because they have a hundred and no two hundred and sixty thousand members across the United States and that's what I've been doing this tour I've been doing shows for the APA and that's who I'm here for now um, Tom over here he, he brought me in in the, in the bar here and uh, I've been doing, I've done like 80 something shows and about 70 something clinics just in the last 10, 11 months. You put so. on a clinic out there a few seconds ago yeah, for us. I so love, <laughs> thank I love you for the, that. I love the teaching too. I love teaching. And, uh, do you do any competitions or anything anymore? Or you just well, roll you know, the, not, the not a hour circuit? Yeah, not a whole lot. I about quit it. I, matter of fact, I had to take my name off Trick Shot Magic okay. last year. And we won the team event in November and I had to take my name off that. But in uh, a couple weeks, I go to France to teach a young player that's going to be on the Trick Shot Magic. And I don't know if you've seen some of his stuff on TV, but on the internet, he's got some tremendous Massays and, and, and uh, Florence, his name, but it, it's under the name of Venom. And he's like 21 years old, studying to be a doctor, and he's only been doing it for three years. And uh, the mass A shots, he's got a tremendous DVD. I mean, I can sit and just watch it over and over. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, these shots that he's done takes a lot of takes. Yeah. And on Trick Shot Magic, you get two attempts, you know. Yeah. So I'm going to go over and work with him and, uh, on his shots and stuff. So that'd be interesting. Spend about eight, ten days with him. Yeah. Well, uh, anywhere people can find you on the internet, do you have a website or anything? Well, I've, you know, I've been planning on doing I had a website years ago, I've been planning on doing one. Uh, but I don't want people to know where I'm going that much. <laughs> I just, I don't, uh, it's, uh, I'm planning on doing another website, but I'm all over YouTube. Yeah. And uh, Wikipedia, you know, there's a pretty good uh, resume on there. Uh, Regent Sports, I endorse a company called Regent Sports. Uh, I also have a line of uh, McDermott cues out. So, nice. But the Regent Sports, they got a bio. But uh, I guess the most updated bio would probably be uh, uh, Wikipedia. I checked on there. They, they missed one of the titles that, uh, that I won recently. Is that Trick Shop Magic? I won it five times. Yeah. I think they only had four on there. But, Damn Wikipedia. And, uh, but yeah, I, I let it slide this time. You know, and, uh, but I get a hold of it, maybe. You know, but there is one thing on the internet, and I want to. I want to let people know it. Um, I was get disappointed. I was scanning the other day, looking through there, and I come up on the Legends of Pooh. Now, the Legends of Pooh was in Ukraine a couple of years, 2006, I think. Yeah. So I go to your Stefano Polinga, you know the the Italian. He oh, sets yes, his indeed. tournament, and it was a tough tournament. And they had a really difficult shots. Mm -hmm. So I go over and I win the competition, right? So uh, the other day I was looking through the internet and I came up on the Legends of Pooh. So I'm watching it there, and actually they were showing the exhibition match of the Legends of Pooh, which wasn't really what said tournament. Yeah. You know, it was a after kind of like a to entertain the crowd yeah. and everything. And some way they got mixed up. Every who put it on the internet, uh, it gets to the end, and they said we want to congratulate Nick Nicolaitis for winning the Legends of Pooh. Nick Nicolaitis did not win the Legends of Pooh. I won the Legends of Pooh. <laughs> if he won it, they made a big mistake when they gave me the prize money. <laughs> but anyway, it's just a, it's, I'm sure it's some kind of mistake when he's seen the DVD because they did have an exhibition match. And Nick won the exhibition match, yeah. but it wasn't the Legends of Pool. Now, the reason I got to let people know that because on all of my posters and stuff, it says the winner of the Legends of the Pool, you know, and it was really a great event. It was yeah. really tough shots, you know. So uh, I was planning on getting a hold of AZ Billiards and some of them in, in the Billiard magazines and let them know because. Uh, you know they need to have the right information. Oh on yeah, there, you, you got know. you got to yeah. control what's going on out yeah. there, brother. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you doing well, this. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for uh, swinging yeah, by thank, Sunset thank Billiards you. here. Uh, we want to thank everybody at Sunset Billiards for uh, allowing us to come out here, and uh, thanks for watching Jiggy Jag TV. Ah, there you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm Mike Massey, and uh, you know you can catch me on Jiggy Jag TV and uh, see a few of my trick shots there. Thank you very much.